Hey, what is going on guys? It is Matt here from Easy OGH Mods and Easy Customs. Uh, I have sort of a different type of video today. It's the same type of videos. Um, as you can tell by the title, it is a How Do I Connect to Xbox Live. This is going to probably be the best way possible. I cannot stress it enough. It's dummy proof if you follow the correct steps. Uh, which a lot of people always have trouble connecting to Xbox Live. Um, now this is disregarding the fact of having stealth. But this is, um, actually no it's not. But this will probably work with just about any stealth server. It'll work. Um, you'll get connected instantly. Well not instantly but just trust me on this. It it will work. <laughs> okay so what... The first thing you guys want to do um, in connecting to Xbox Live is purchase your stealth. Um, make sure that your internet works. Um, you know, go to google.com, type in whatever you usually type in, um, and then so forth. Make sure your internet works. And what we want to do is we want to go to XCX menu. Um, and then. I'll have a link in the uh, link in the description on the plugins you will also need, which is uh, just stealth. Um, so purchase your stealth, and then put it on a USB, and then transfer it to your HDDD, um, which it could, which mine is just in my RGH files, which um, I'm using Ninja for this. So. You know, place it on the root. When people say the root of your hard drive, what do they mean by that? They mean just the hard drive right here. You know, everything is all here. That's what they mean by the root of your uh, hard drive. And then what you guys want is you want to have dash launch, which I will provide a you know a link in the uh, description. So you want to get dash launch. Um, go to dash launch installer and default.xex. And then what this will do is it will open up this sort of dash launch, you know, get a dash launch because there's a rock. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, so what you want to then do is go to network. This will be your network settings. Make sure everything else, don't worry about this, you know, auto fake, don't worry about that. The only thing that you should have enabled is ping patch. That's it. Just have ping patch enabled. So have live strong disabled, uh, live block, all of that sort of things. And then let's see here. Um, after that, go to your plugins, and then look for your um, uh, go to plugin two. Um, and then look for your self service, which would be Ninja. Um, so, if you guys have it on a flash drive, make sure that you guys have put it on your hard drive, uh, which is just sort of a personal preference for me. And which mine would be Ninja. And then after that, uh, your plugins and your network is all set. Then click LB, LB, go down to your hard drive, click X. A, X, A, and then make sure it has saved, which it obviously has, and then click B. Now, you have basically set it to your hard drive. Um, this is not really going to be for a flash drive sort of thing, so please disregard that. After that, you'll uh, reboot your console, um, and then after it has been rebooted, um, Actually, yeah, after it has done that, um, press the, actually, hold on, one second. Um, before, before you guys do that, before you all do that, um, I'm sorry, I just totally messed up this whole video when <laughs> I screwed up, okay? Before you do all of that dash launch stuff, um, you guys want to skip the sign-in, skip the, skip the sign-in. And then go to your, um, one second, go to your settings. Go to network settings. 
And I have a wired network, which is probably the best because I'm always connected to the internet, um, but not Xbox Live. What, what what I do first is I connect to the internet first. I never connect to not the internet, but I connect to my um my router or yeah my router, and then that's it. And then it can't go to live. You know, I can't go to Xbox Live because it you know dash launch has blocked it. If you do what I did in the beginning of the video, um, there is no way to connect to the internet which would cause the plugin to glitch out and your console will not boot. Uh, you would have to press the eject button, bypass the plugins, and then connect to the internet. And I hope you guys are following me with this because I screwed up. But connect to the connect to your router first before anything absolutely anything connect to your router first and if you guys have a wireless network um when it when it starts saying when it you know wh when you are connected to the internet when you connect to your router and then the internet make sure you guys stop it when it you know make sure you stop the test when it starts getting to xbox live just stop it um which it should just say can't do it um but yeah so i know it's a little bit confusing it shouldn't be basically connect to your router first and then like i did in the beginning of the video go to x go to xcx menu transfer your stealth onto your hard drive go into dash launch disable everything in the network tab and keep ping patch on go to plugins set xcx or w w whatever your stealth server is ballin ninja you name it and then save it by clicking lb lb um and then go down to hard drive x a x a and then b reboot your console and you should be set now if you guys are using ninja uh, you can simply just click redeem, actually it's redeem token here in the ninja token uh, section. If you guys have deception live, um, it's a bit of a different process. Basically you have to um, set up your console by going to their website and you know going through their registration process with your CPU key and your token, your username and whatnot. Um, and then you could do all the steps like I told you. So basically, connect to the internet and then do all the settings. Um, so that's about it. That should work for you guys. Like that should be like golden key token right there. Um, and if it doesn't work for you, if you guys have it still saying, um, you know, can't connect to. So hold on, actually, let me see if I could get this. Hold on, and I got my little mouse to point it out. Uh, so let's say I go to wired and then I do test Xbox live connection. It's going to connect to your network. If it says that it cannot connect to your network, your password's wrong. Now you want it to connect to the internet. If it cannot connect to the internet, that means your live block or your live strong is on. And if you just flat out can't connect to the internet, something is screwed up. Um, because that right there is basically maybe the stealth service or there's some sort of block that's not allowing you to connect to the internet you guys should be able to connect to the internet and if xbox live is not working then it's your live block or your live strong um but the the network and the internet you guys should be golden if you watch this uh video properly i screwed up i'm sorry i'll get on with it and so yep yeah. That's basically how to connect to Xbox Live, uh, the easiest way. I may have a couple other videos going more into detail on how to do this. Maybe with other stealth servers, just to give you guys a little bit of a, um, a feel for and expand uh, with different stealth servers and different methods of doing this. This is the best way, and I'm going to repeat it. Connect to the network, or connect to your router, and then your internet and live block is disabled so you're not going to connect to xbox live and get banned immediately and then go to the settings and then do it that way you know set your plug in blah 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 
and that's about it guys uh thank you very much for watching if you guys did enjoy this uh leave a like comment if i messed something up or if i didn't do something properly or if you guys have some sort of other uh, method of doing this please leave it down below thank you very much and later